All right, guys, another uh, swing method factoring example here. Again, if, uh, if you're going through these, I recommend pausing it here and, you know, trying it yourself or, you know, try swing or try a different method uh, and see if you get the right answer. All right, but I'll show all the steps for swing method. Remember, swing method involves swinging the first number to the back. Everyone knows factoring with a with when a is not one is a lot harder than factoring when a is one. So swing method makes it one. Okay. It makes it x squared minus eleven x minus sixty. Okay. Now this is a problem we could factor pretty easily. Product sum. We're looking for two numbers, and product sum only really works when there's a uh, a one in front. So we're looking for two numbers that are going to multiply to negative 60. Oops. There we go. Multiply to negative 60 and add to negative 11. Okay. Now, if you can think of those numbers right away, that's great. Uh, I'll make a table. I'll list out all the factors of negative 60. Uh, we got 1 and negative 60. Be 2 and negative 30. Okay. I know the bigger factor has to be negative because we're adding to negative 11. Uh, 3 and negative 20. Okay. 4 and negative 15. Okay. 5 and negative 12. And then 6 and negative 10. Okay. Those are all the factors of 60. Okay. All right, well, which one of these factors also adds to negative 11. Okay, so you go through the list here and it's going to be this one down here. 4 minus 15 is negative 11. Okay. So those are our winners. So when we factor it, we'll write it as x plus 4 times x minus 15. Now those are the factors of our rewritten problem, but not the factors of the original problem. The original problem, we multiply by 10 in the first step. So to get, you know, if we do something, we have to undo it at some point. That's where the swing, you swing forward, you swing back. So we have to undo this multiplication by dividing each of these factors by 10. Okay. Now we're going to simplify those fractions. 4 over 10 simplifies to 2 over 5. And 15 over 10 will simplify to 3 over 2. Okay. All right. Now for the swinging back. We're going to take all these denominators of the simplified form, and we're going to swing it to the front. Swing this to the front. Okay. So swing forward and swing back. So our final answer here, our factored form, is going to be 5x plus 2. times 2x minus 3. Okay. And of course, you'd always check your answer by, you know, foiling or just multiplying those two. And you should get the original, what we came out with. Okay, so that's another one of swing method.